or if it is a case in which the U.S. government is either a petitioner or a respondent, or in other words, if the United States government is a party to the suit. And five, if it is a case raising an issue of federalism, that is, the division of powers between the national government on the one hand and state or local governments on the other hand. Q-theory essentially holds that predicting whether the court will review a case is a bit like predicting the probability of rainfall. Meteorologists look for the presence of certain atmospheric variables. As the presence of predictor variables in the atmosphere increase, the probability of rain increases. One recent study concluded that in cases in which no cues are present, there is only a 7% probability that the Supreme Court will issue a writ of certiorari. However, in cases in which at least three cues are present, the probability increases to 80%. This theory is more empirically satisfying than the theory of merits consciousness because the extent to which predictor cues are present is objectively measurable. Merit's consciousness is much more dependent on speculation about whether individual justices may or may not have given thought to cases before they come before the court.